See these behind me? What do you think they are? Those are trees, <laughs> fossilised tree stumps. And they're here in Glasgow. Did you know that? Now these tree stumps lived 330 million years ago during the Carboniferous period. I am standing on rocks that are 330 million years old. And you can see them along the side here. Right? So where was Scotland 330 million years ago? Scotland was situated just at the equator, okay? So it's got a tropical kind of environment to it. It's, it's filled with these tropical rainforests. That bad boy there, that <laughs> one, and that one, they're all over the place in here. They're known as a species called Lepidodendron, right? Now the outer layer of these is actually gone, and Lepidodendron's usually known for its scale-like features on its bark. But they've actually been taken away. They were coal at one point. But when they came across this by accident back in the 1880s, 1887 to be exact, I think, <laughs> they were actually going to put a road through here. And they weren't actually after the coal, like they were they were mining the dolerite back in the day. There's two dolerite cells that cut through this park and they were mining the dolerite back in the day and using that for stuff. They weren't after the coal when they came across this by accident. They were going to put a roadway right through here and instead when they started excavating it, they came across these trees, which is cool, these little wee rings. Now what's happened here is how, how are these trees here, right? So what's happened is like during the Carboniferous period where Scotland was situated at that equator, you had like storms sometimes every now and then happen, similar to Hurricane Katrina, you know, right? So back in the day, these like storms would like sweep in and like knock the trees down, and these trees were up to 40 meters high, so they're quite tall, but they're massive. They used to produce all of this oxygen during the Carboniferous period, which caused a global cooling event. There was an ice cap on top of Gondwana, and where Larissa was, which is where Scotland is at this point. Like, the continents are all coming together during this point, right? So they're coming together and forming Pangaea. But because all of these trees existed here, it meant like it was releasing all this oxygen, which caused life to be a lot bigger than what it was today. So you had these massive dragonflies that were like this size. And, like, insects, like millipedes cutting about, like, and amongst the tree stuffs, like, oh, trees back in the day. Like, so which is mad to think that that was here in Scotland. Now this is interesting as well because if it wasn't for these rocks that form part of the Carboniferous period, Glasgow wouldn't be here without these rocks. And people don't think about how geology relates into like nowadays life. So it's mad to think that Glasgow wouldn't be here without these rocks that we see here today. These form part of the Carboniferous coal measures, right? And during the Industrial Revolution, that's what put Glasgow on the map. If it wasn't for these rocks that contained the coals back in the day, we wouldn't have Glasgow here. Is that not mad? It's mad. That's a tree. Now, what happened was the flood caused the top of these trees to fall over and carry them away. You can actually see the remnants of some of the tree um, stumps. Lying there, so storms came in. A flood, a big flood, swept all these trees down, 40 meters tall, knocked them down. And then later on, the trees have been then filled with sand from the mother stone. So you've got like sand in the middle of the sand stone, and then the mud stone has come out with this. Well, there's a silt stone probably in there too. There's actually like a dollar that silt that cuts across the inner end of this. So these trees back in the day during that Carboniferous period were monocarpic, which means they reproduce once in their lifetime, which is towards the end of their lifetime. And they release spores. They do. And all these little spores just <laughs> Look at that! That's a tree! <laughs>